In this video, we will talk about the difference between hard and soft water, the disadvantages of hard water, and how to treat the water to remove hardness. Hardness is due to the presence of metallic cations in the water. The cations most frequently associated with hardness are calcium and magnesium. Hardness originates from the dissolution of minerals containing calcium and magnesium, calcareous rocks. So if the soil in the pond or lake has the presence of limestone, calcium ions may be released into the water. It is also possible to increase the concentration of calcium ions in water by pollution with industrial waste. These cations are associated with carbonates, bicarbonates, sulfates, chlorides, and nitrates. The inconveniences of hardness are the formation of crust on types of equipment, in the case of industries, and the difficulty in the formation of foam with soap, in the case of domestic use. As an example of countries where water has higher concentrations of calcium and magnesium, we can mention Italy, Germany, and England. There are two types of hardness, temporary and permanent. Temporary hardness is due to carbonates and bicarbonates. It can be eliminated by boiling water, as there is the formation of insoluble carbonate that can be separated from water in the decantation process. Permanent hardness is not eliminated by boiling. It is caused by sulfates, silicates, and phosphates. The most common options to remove hardness from water are the addition of sodium carbonate and the ionic exchange process, using ion exchange resins. The addition of sodium carbonate, also known as washing soda, to the water is an inexpensive method of removing hardness. Calcium ions from hard water are removed as calcium carbonate and sodium ions remain in the water. The calcium ions from the hard water react with the carbonate ions from the washing soda. This method can soften water with temporary or permanent hardness. The ion exchange process is another option for hardness removal. An ion exchange resin is used for this process. These resins have the appearance of granules, around 1 to 2 mm in diameter, and are packed into a column. They have acidic or basic radicals in their structure. Contaminating ions in a solution will replace positive or negative ions attached to these radicals of the resins. The sodic resin is one of the types of resins used and it starts with sodium ions stuck to it. The ion exchange process involves the exchange between the ions present in the solution or water to be treated, contaminants such as calcium, and ions present in the resin, such as sodium. The hard water passes through the column and calcium ions are retained in the resin while sodium ions go into the water. After some time of use, the resin will be saturated with calcium ions and will need to be washed with a sodium chloride solution to replace the sodium ions and continue to be used. If you would like to know more about the ion exchange process or any related subject, leave a comment, so we can make more videos about this.